Hello dear wonderful friends, welcome here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Please come join with me as I'm going to show you a very easy type of baking. So we're going to make banana nut cake. So we're, we will be using one cup of walnuts and three quarters or three fourth cup of sultana raisin raisins. But please, I'll have to preheat my oven first prior prior to all mixing. So friends, I am going to preheat my oven into bake 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Set it aside until it is ready for baking. Okay, wonderful friends, using my uh, electric hand mixer, I added one and a half cups of butter. Your butter should be soft or spreadable so I use this uh, kind of butter unsalted butter so that is one and a half cups of unsalted butter three quarters or three fourth cups of brown sugar then we're going uh, to do this as a part of our creaming method <laughs> going to add three eggs Okay, there you go then one teaspoon of vanilla extract keep on beating I'll turn this off for now then I am going to add two cups of cake flour so you can use all-purpose flour so this is uh, scoop and scrape <laughs> so that's one cup of cake flour and another cup of cake flour makes two cups of cake flour one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda Okay, there you go, and uh, one teaspoon of um, fine or iodized salt. So keep mixing. And turn this off for now. This baking very easy type of baking this is intended for my good friend miss elma maturan and mrs jingjing helen millistone <laughs> i hope you will uh try to have this uh, type of easy baking so i use overripe bananas six pieces of bananas medium uh, sizes so we'll just um mix this one Okay, there you go. Beautiful, my lovely friends. So do not overbeat your uh, butter mixture. So this is the consistency that we are looking into it. It's not very runny. It is not very, very dry. Beautiful. Then we are going to add one cup of walnuts. You can use peanuts if you think. Walnuts are very, very... Uh, 
if you think walnuts are very very expensive for you or you can use cashew nuts or even to the least nuts that you can use are the peanuts okay so one cup of walnuts did i say walnuts okay hold yes <laughs> i'm uh, okay these are the walnuts that i use okay so just one cup of walnuts or at your own discretion you can add more but i uh, i just like to add one cup and three quarters of raisins simply fold it fold it and there you go okay beautiful wonderful friends and so we are going to pour this into our butter uh, into our uh, baking dish or baking pan okay there you go this is my baking pan okay and i grease uh these uh, pans using my butter and so i have to drizzle that with flour you can line it also with a uh, parchment paper You can use a glass baking dish or baking pan. Okay, there you go. So we're going to divide the mixture into two. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, there you go. This is our mixture. So there are three components that I am usually um, mentioning to all of you guys. The texture the consistency this is the consistency of course the taste are very important components when you bake something so we will divide the mixture into two a little tap okay give a little tap to uh, release the air bubbles and so I'm going to add some uh, some what's this walnuts <laughs> okay there you go lots of walnuts Okay, there you go so wonderful friends into the oven okay our oven is now ready at 350 degrees Fahrenheit so we're going to place this into our oven's middle rack okay set that aside and we're going to set our timer to let's say 50 minutes If increment, if needed more minutes, then we will add increments of minutes. So set that aside and we'll be right back. Okay, our timer is ended up, so I'll have to cancel it. And so let's check our baking. Wow, it's really beautiful golden brown. So this is good. Perfecto, wonderful friends. So I'll have to take this out from the oven and I'll have to let you see up close and personal. There you go, wonderful friends. So this is the output of our banana nut cake. So using our walnuts and raisins. So perfectly fine. And you can always have the option not to add raisins and the nuts. That's okay. <laughs> okay, whatever makes you happy. 
So there you go. Thank you, wonderful friends, for watching Larnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Stay tuned for more cookings and baking. So by the way, this is my uh, special classic cheesy classic and cheesy encimada two different types so this is the second proofing which is letting it rise for the second time so it is starting to rise it will take one hour and a half to uh, for the rising process for the proofing method so once again thank you wonderful friends stay tuned for ne for the next time that we can bake and cook here at my little kitchen.